So earlier this week, if you opened up one of your Affinity programs, you would see that there was an update. So we are now at version 2.6. I'm focusing on one of the updates for Affinity Publisher. This is something I've been very excited about is a multi-page spread. As you can see here, we now have three pages instead of just two. You couldn't do this before and now you can create it. This is very handy for me because I work in magazine design. So being able to create the cover with the spine makes my life so much easier. It'll also be much easier for those people designing book covers where you don't always have the exact size of the spine until the book is complete. Then you get the final spine size and then it's much easier to change it when you can just go to that spine area and change that. Another thing before I move on that's very nice that they've given us is the extra large thumbnails. And if you pull out that panel, your thumbnails become as big as the panel. Let's have a look here. I did a mock-up of a magazine cover. I really put this together very fast just to give you an idea. So now you'd have the back part of the cover the spine and the front and by duplicating it I have the inside so I'd have the inside front cover and the inside back cover We generally in magazines you're putting ads so this is very useful if you're needing to change the spine size you go to the spread you right click and go spread properties and it will say spread or selected pages if you click on the specific page you want to change it automatically goes to selected pages and then you can just click in here and change the size of your spine. So you can change that there. This is so easy. So how do we create this multi-page spread? Let's have a look. So we'll go File, New. I'm working with A4. It doesn't matter what size you're working with. As long as you know how to add that extra page. So let's have a look. I'm choosing it's two pages. I want it to be facing pages and left aligned. I'm going to just make small margins here. I'm just going to go to 15 millimeters. I've got my bleed because this would be for print and I say create. So now I've got two pages. This is the way it always was. So to add a page to this, we're just going to go add pages. We want one page after page two and then here we click extend spread and you now have three pages so you want the middle one to be your spine so you're going to right click spread properties select your middle page and then just go there and change it uh, for the purpose of this i'm making it 10 millimeters it's generally a lot smaller and i say okay now the margins unfortunately in this section are not showing the way they should because they wouldn't it just wouldn't work it's this area is too small so you can just go in there again spread properties select your second page go to margins and just remove the margins there if you're working on a book cover and your spine is thicker generally you will have margins that the publisher will let you know what those are and you can apply those so there you've got your spine now set in and the nice thing is you can go to this whole thing here you select the whole spread you can duplicate and you have your next one so you've got your outside and your inside now what happens if your cover has a flap and that does happen we've had that in a magazine where we have a flap so it will be on this one over here on the first lot it will be on the right hand side and on the bottom one it will be on the left so again I'm going to just choose this top selection here the top spread and say add pages i'm going to say one after page three extend spread and say okay select it again spread properties and select that last one and in this case i'm going to make it half the size it's generally third or half i'm going to make it 105 and say okay and there i have my cover with the flap let me just scroll out here so this would be my cover with the flap and on this one at 
below you would want to have the flap then on the left same thing you're going to say add pages and just one page before page five and extend spread and just go and change the size this is the easiest way to do it because if you try and move these pages around it can go a bit crazy so it's best just to put it in there I want page 5 to now be 105 and say okay so now I can work on my cover so there you see that cover with the flap for the outside and when you open it up the flap is then on the left and you can also now what what really is great is you can now export single pages of your of your magazine cover if you're needing to send it off for a sign off instead of what I did before was put a rectangle over the area I would put it over the section that I want to export so I can get rid of the bleed and just remove the color and then I would go file export and choose let's just choose JPEG because often I need to send covers for sign off and then you go to selection area and then it would give you that area but now you can actually just go and export that specific page without bleed and there you've got your spreads as I say if you're trying to shift them around if you were wanting to move this this one over here to the outside it can start playing silly games so the best is just to create it while you're in there I've tried moving them and sometimes I'm lucky and it moves and other times it just leaves a big gap or creates a new spread so the best is just to add it in I hope this helps you and makes your life a bit easier as it has mine I do appreciate you watching this. I hope you have a wonderful day further.